Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys how I do my um, my drain, which as you can see there's not much in it, I just emptied it. But I figured this could help other people out there who are doing this or taking care of their loved ones who just got surgery and need to do drains. So I like to go ahead and get it out. Um, and of course I wear layers, so mine's pretty far back. Yours might be elsewhere, but it's the same concept. Um, now I saw this trick and I'm so thankful we do this because it's so much easier. I ever told the nurses in the hospital to use this because the nurses were doing it and you could tell they were struggling with these. You could do it so much faster. So this is an alcohol swab, an alcohol pad. You could buy a box of these super cheap at Walmart pharmacy. You know, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, so it's just a little alcohol pad. You grab it, you hold it down. You fold the alcohol swab over the tube and you pull, just like this. And it flattens after you pull it, see? But it's so much easier to use an alcohol swab because it just glides with the tube. Where if you do it any other way, it, it's, it takes longer, it's more of a pain. And I feel like you don't get as much sex through the tube. <laughs> Sounds weird saying that. But yeah, so that's basically what I do. And hopefully that helps somebody out there who doesn't know that yet. But yes, yeah, so use a little alcohol pad. Just hold the tube down to your body because you don't want to pull it out. And just bloop. Now in the beginning, you're going to need someone to do this for you. Um, I'm nine days post-op today. And I've been doing my own drains for a couple days now. Um, the person that was taking care of me had to go to work, which I understand. We got bills to pay. And, you know, I just, I was like, I, I got this. You know, I could do it. So I've been doing it. Um, I'm also, uh, I've been taking showers by myself. I have been, um, you know, doing my medications and everything by myself. Um, I do my Arnica, Bromelain, and... It's, I think today's my last day of my antibiotics. So, yeah. I just hope that helps somebody out there. And if you guys got any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, another thing, I am still wearing my compression socks. I've worn them every day, all day, all night um, since surgery. Now, I do have POTS, which is post-ortho uh, something syndrome. God dang, I forgot the name of it. Anyways, it's called POTS. Kind of funny, I know. But it's where if I move positions too fast, um, I get really lightheaded, my heart beats really fast. It's a cardiovascular nervous uh, disorder. So I'm keeping them on just to be safe. My doctor didn't tell me when to take them off. I've read different answers to when to take them off, months, weeks, whatever. I'm just keeping them on to be safe. I've heard of people getting uh, deep vein thrombosis or embolisms or blood clots. Um, months after surgery, so either way I'm gonna be safe or wear them, but other than that, that's pretty much all I do hope I helped you guys so like and subscribe